and uh, so many other notes that we can go over, but let's just get her on. Jane Seymour, good morning. Welcome to the show. Thank you. How are you on this uh, fine Tuesday morning? Oh, good. You are, uh, are you in the Los Angeles area this morning? Where, where in the world are we uh, talking to you from? Um, Malibu. Malibu, California. Beautiful Malibu. Now, you guys are still kind of in a heat wave down there, but you're out on the coast, so not I'm too in, bad. I'm, I'm really, 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 really lucky. I'm, I'm looking out over a beautiful ocean and seabirds flying, and uh, it's always 20 degrees cooler here than it is just across the valley. That's got to be awesome. So how long have you been down in, in uh, you know, the, the land of the television and uh, movies and so forth there? Because originally you're, you're not from the Los Angeles area, correct? No, I, I came here in 1976. And um, I became a, a citizen a few years back, and uh, I've been here since 1976. You still retain, you know, a little bit of an accent that goes back to, uh, you know, mom and dad and, and where you were born in uh, uh, England. Uh, has, has that been tough to maintain? Have you wanted to maintain, or is that just an unconscious thing that uh, has stayed with you? Actually, it, it's very interesting. My kids always laugh at me because when anyone English comes to visit or if I'm in England, all of a sudden I get frightfully British. <laughs> <laughs> or the Olympics are on, I get frightfully British. But, uh, you know, if I'm on the telephone and I'm trying to explain something to someone in America, it, it makes a lot more sense to sound slightly more American and, you know, change some of the vernacular. And, of course, if I'm acting, I'm always playing Americans. I almost never play English. Now, uh, in fact, in the movie we're talking about today, I play with a, a very strong West Virginia accent. Now, that's kind of interesting because um, you, you would think somebody would cast you at some point in all this uh, career of yours, you know, as an English woman because you have, you know, the, the, the dialect down. Well, I guess I have a movie that will be coming out at some point soon called Austin Land, in which I'm frightfully British. And, and in fact, it, it, it perturbed the uh, producer and director when they first met me because they've they're American, and they thought I sounded slightly American, and I pointed that out to them that, no, actually, I can be more British than the British, so don't worry about it. Not, o- not, only, do you have the, not only do you have the accent, um, your kids must point out a, a term or something, you know, uh, that you use that comes from your British uh, Yes, ancestry. actually, you know, I, a funny story. When I was, um, my, my older kids, when they were in, uh, in school and they asked you to come and help out in the classroom, I marked some papers, and I pointed out that everyone was spelling color, flavor, favorite wrong, because they weren't doing the (laughs) O-U-R, which, of course, is the way it's properly spelled in England. And I was putting big red circles over everybody. I was asked, you know, to thank you, but no thank you. Please leave the education to us. So (laughs) that was it. They weren't going to let you uh, uh, drag us back to the correct... I I was allowed to, you know, clean up after or something. I, no education allowed. And that was it. So what's it like, uh, you know, for you as, as a successful and very recognizable actress with all that you've done in James Bond movies, as uh, Dr. Quinn, medicine woman, and so forth, to go into a school and then just be mom? Um, that's, that's who I am, and uh, it's always good research for the movies I play because I'm always playing mom. <laughs> At least nowadays I am. <laughs> Is there is there a particular role that you would uh, like to play still in your career that uh, you haven't played? Like, say, you're playing mom now and you've played some other roles. Is there a particular uh, role that you would like to uh, see yourself in? You know what? Um, I'm so superstitious that I'll never say anymore what role I'd like to play. But um, I just, I, you know, I read material. I, I, I'm always looking for good material. And, and, you know, I do these independent movies from time to time because it's great material that you know, normally most people wouldn't even know had been made. Um, and there is some great stuff out there. And since nowadays, if you're making a big movie, it's got to have a, you know, a lot of either violence or car crashes or a huge budget. Um, and if you're making television, um, a lot of the material is either reality television or um, sort of cops and, and FBI and CIA and, and things like that. I, I just feel that doing something that deals with human condition is something that's special to me. That's why I love Lake Effects and why I chose to do that material, and, um, you know, I I get to see some great little movies, um, get to be in some great ones, and and then also I love doing comedy, too. I mean, I did Wedding Crashes. I've done a lot of comedy recently. Well, that's awesome. Let's talk about this movie that is out right now, Lake Effects, um, that uh, was premiered on the Hallmark Channel here a, a couple of months ago. But the DVD's out now. It's got an extended version of the film, as you know, DVDs can do, a lot of extra stuff in there. This was actually shot all on location about a uh, pretty much a, a true mountain lake community in Virginia. And, and, and tell us in a nutshell what this is all about. 
Well, basically, in a nutshell, this is an absolutely beautiful man-made lake, believe it or not, called Smith Mountain Lake. And if you have a chance to go to West Virginia and see it, you'll love it. The community decided to make this movie. They'd never made a movie before, and um, they made a great movie and put great people in it. And uh, that's why I, I took the, the script, because I, I, it really spoke to me. And basically, it's about a young girl played by Scotty Thompson, who's gone to L.A. and become a high-powered lawyer, and living a sort of the fast life, and her father dies from a little a an accident in uh, back home, and she comes back to the funeral and intends to spend as little time there as possible because she left there, she has a new life, she has a life that has nothing to do with Virginia. And the more she's there, the more she realizes that, A, they need her, and B, she needs them. They have something to offer. That community is not what she perceived it to be, and that, it, that the life that she has chosen is not necessarily a life that she ultimately wants. And uh, the lake and the effect of being there on the lake um, really opens her eyes to a lot of things in life that she didn't realize, including her perception of the relationship her parents had and uh, the choices that she made in life based on things that aren't necessarily the way she'd seen them to be. Uh, the movie, again, Lake Effects. You can find out more at lakeeffectsthemovie.com. Do you see yourself, Jane, ever actually going and doing a little vacation on Smith Mountain Lake in uh, West Virginia? I kind of had one while I was making the movie. My my favorite kind of vacation is to be doing something I love. And I uh, was uh, working on this movie with really great people. And in the evenings, um, I would actually cook for the two girls that played my daughters. And, and Jeff Fahey, uh, who played my husband, we'd all hang out and have dinner. And and uh, we, we just, it was very meaningful. I mean, it's hard not to feel you're on vacation, even when you're working over there. Um, so, no, I would highly recommend that place. I personally just came back from a fly fishing and golfing vacation in, in at the outskirts of Aspen, which was lovely. And so I love the great outdoors. I love to do things with my kids. Um, that's my idea of fun. Well, we'll have to get you up here to our neck of the woods up in the Redwood country and the beautiful beaches and redwood trees that we have. Uh, what, what is your uh, handicap on the golf course? Um, everything about my swing. <laughs> okay, there you go. But I don't hit people. I, you know, I'm a really good scramble player. I'm the person you want. I have the high handicap, and the ball goes straight. All right, well, listen, bring the family up here. We'll do the beaches, we'll do the trees, and I'll take you out to some golf courses actually in the Redwood Trees. How's that so? Ooh, I'd love that. All right, the invite's out. Jane Seymour, thanks very much for joining us here this morning on the uh, program. The movie's called Lake Effects. Check it out. It's a great movie, and uh, a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thank you very much.